Welcome back to the shop. It's the 18th of November, 2019. Hi, everybody. Hmm. All right, guys. It's been two weeks since we talked to you last because we were on vacation last week and just yes. busy, 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 busy. Too busy. All right, guys. Let's move on. Not doing tea or hot chocolate because it was, got too warm this afternoon for mm -hmm. the hot chocolate. It was kind of cool. And yeah. I was like, that's what I'd have. So I didn't make tea. And last minute, I said, hey, I got some cherry cup. All right, guys, let's move on and talk about projects completed and what we did last week. Uh, Milhand Michael and I were really busy uh, the last time he was yep. up, which wasn't this past weekend, but the weekend before, we cleaned all the way around the mill. Now, you can drive all the way around the mill. And the reason that is important is is because we're getting uh, ready to move the mill 180 degrees. So if you think about the mill sitting here, the head's this way, we're going to turn the whole mill around. And if you want to know why we're doing that, just let me know in the comments below and I'll make a quick video and show you why we're doing that and the reasoning behind that. But we got that done and that was a lot of work. That a was lot a of work. Of work. But we got, uh, got it done pretty quickly. Um, we uh, we started to uh, to work on the rescue trailer, the log rescue trailer, and got it all stripped down. We had a problem with the jack stand where it kind of ran up underneath the truck while Jay was hauling some stuff off. It came loose from the uh, truck and ran up underneath the, the truck and kind of bent the uh, jack stand handle, uh, bent the jack stand back. And I said, well, as long as I was going to do that, I was going to go ahead and ch change out a couple boards that were bad. bad. Our good uh, buddy Ben gave us a couple of uh, uh, treated boards to put on there. Uh, not on there yet, but they'll get there. And we're going to change out the, uh, the wire and kind of protect the wire a little bit better. But we got that stripped down. I got the jack stand repaired where it was bent up. I got it all hammered back into shape. Uh, and I got to fire up the forge a little bit and square yes. the handle up. The handle was twisted almost like a bow. Put it in the forge on an old uh, a coal fired forge, beat it out, and got it pretty well straight. Looks pretty good. Looks uh, great. Uh, Loretta worked on a bunch of things. Her little gnomes here, what I kind of call rice people, uh, is probably uh, the biggest thing she's been working on. The Kempster's been working on these. Dakota's been working on these. So everybody's kind of been working on them. So uh, she's worked on these guys a bunch. And then this one, a little cute one, little baby with the pacifier in its mouth. Uh, she also made some what I'm calling acorn mice. Now I'm going to hold the board up here, but you're not looking at the board. What you want to look at is this little guy right here. He is adorable. So the little acorn mouse. She made what I'm calling pin blank ornaments because that's what these guys are made out of is some pin blanks that we had down in the basement down there and Michael cut these up about two years ago uh, but we've got those you've seen that let's take a look at this one here right that's there the snowman the snowman and then we've got a couple of reindeer ornaments that was an extreme. yeah that's all right just easier for me to hold them up anyhow than to find the string. And then the angels, you have kind of already seen one of them. But the little angels here, so those are just adorable there. And those will be just regular ornaments that hang on the tree. Uh, so Loretta's been working on that. She also worked on a couple of sycamore tabletops, getting ready to put the sycamore tabletops on some mid-century modern bases. Those are going to look really, really They're nice gorgeous. when we get those done. When we get those all done, those will be gorgeous. Uh, we mailed off or UPS off uh, 12 of our uh, saw blades back to Wood Miser for the LT15 because we are going to do some serious cutting here. I'm going to tell you why and what's coming up here in the next uh, couple of uh, weeks for, uh, for us. But we're going to get ready to hit the uh, wood sales really, really hard, get those to some sales. Uh, I replaced some windows in the shop. Uh, we had a broken. <laughs> we need a bunch here. of them. We two upstairs. I replaced those and got those done. Uh, Michael turned several pins. Now these are some beautiful, beautiful pins he's turned right here. And he did that this past weekend while he was home. Both of these are walnut. This is um, sapwood. Uh, the sapwood uh, walnut, and then this one here is the heartwood. But some gorgeous pins that he turned. And while he was turning pins. He taught Dakota how to turn a pin, and she turned her own pin. Yes, she did. Really, it came out really, really, really pretty. Nice. Really pretty pin. Uh, then I set the piers over at Daniel and Kimmy's house, set the piers, put the concrete in the piers that we put up about three weeks ago. The piers are going to be for the uh, shed. Uh, shed. So I got that set last weekend about Tuesday mm -hmm. or so. Got them with that all uh, uh, poured in. And then uh, we moved the uh, washer and dryer from the basement of the shop 
over to the house and then I took the washer and dryer that were uh, broke on the front porch up here at the shop, fixed those and put them down in the basement and they seem to be working Yay. just fine. Alright guys, let's move on. Mm. Uh, miss having cherry coke. Alrighty, upcoming for two dogs. Got a lot coming up. Uh, we're going to clean out the horse trailer, that big blue horse trailer, and this goes back to why we're turning the, the mill around. How are those connected? Well, it's pretty easy. I ran into uh, our buddy Mr. Palmer today, mm -hmm. and he said he's, uh, he's going to cut that trailer down for me. If I bring it to him completely cleaned off and stripped, he'll cut it down for about four to $500, take about 12 to 14 feet out of the center, and shorten that trailer up. So I'm going to take some measurements here in the next couple of days get that squared away, get a hold of uh, uh, the uh, uh, sheriff's department, find out how I need to move that trailer around, what I need to do to uh, legally move it over there. I think I'll probably just have to buy a tag and everything for it. Get that pulled over. He's going to cut it down, and then when we turn the mill around, we'll actually be unloading wood from the mill the way it's supposed to be. And like I said, if you want to know why we're doing all the mill turning around, what that's got to do with cutting wood, just put a comment in the, uh, uh, the comments below and we'll tell you how we're going to do that in a little short video. Alrighty, uh, we're going to weld the jack stand back on the log rescue trailer. It's sitting out the door right now, literally sitting right out there. I'm fixing to get that done. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to weld our uh, log tongs that one of the retaining clips broke off of and we can't find the right retaining clips on. So I'm going to weld a little piece of uh, metal on there as a keeper and then I'm going to work on the boom pole because some work needs to be done on that. Uh, we're going to replace the boards on the trailer uh, after we get it, the trailer all wired up so we'll have the trailer ready to run. Mama's going to make a couple of her Grinch post people uh, that she does and does such a great job on them. Uh, we'll show you one of those maybe next week or the week after that. And then we're going to work on the uh, sign people that we do so much. Now I don't know what the real name of these are but I've always called them sign people. We're going to make this size sign people and we've got about six or eight of those cut out ready to be uh, knit, put together, together mm -hmm. that we're going to do right after it turns dark and I get done doing some welding today. Uh, we're going to finish up on the sycamore slab that we cut for that young lady mm -hmm. about four or five, maybe six weeks ago now. It's mm -hmm. in the kiln. It's about ready. So we're going to finish up on that. I'm also going to finish up on the mantle I got for a guy that I have to cut a couple inches off and I'm going to call him about that. Then we're going to uh, let's see. Well, so we're going to load the trailer up. Oh yeah, we got the we got the show trailer. The show. The this Saturday. This Saturday, Saturday. twenty third of November, Lincoln County, County Lincoln historical County Carriage, yeah, park uh, is going to put it on, and that is going to be Pioneer Days that we're mm -hmm. going to. So it'll be fun. To that. All right, guys, let's move on. Hmm. Well, I think that's about it for this evening. Do you have any, honey? No, not really. Just keep working and getting crafts done for the shows. Getting That's it. Yep. All, right. All right, guys. As always, thank you for watching the video. And remember, we'd love to see you back in the shop.